What is going on? It's your boy Anto the Don. Uh, welcome to this video. Uh, this video is going to be behind the scenes on the thought process on why I decided to mix Stay Tonight by Chang'e with some old school rap. So yeah. So when I first heard the song, I thought it was okay. I don't think it was anything special or anything, but after about the fifth listen, that's when I was like, damn, this is actually really good. And there's one part of the song where I like, but also everyone else also likes, because you can see it in the comments in the YouTube section. And you know, other people think it's the most iconic part of the song, but the part doesn't go for very long. I should loop that part. I jokingly told myself to write some lyrics. I got a little bit lazy and I thought, let's just get some rap verses from a few years ago and put it over the, uh, the instrumental. So the rap verses that I got, the first verse is off a song called Feeling So Good by Jennifer Lopez, big pun and fat Joe. So it's one of my favorite songs and I like the rapping part of that song. So one song that I really like is like I Love You by Justin Timberlake featuring the clips. The clips being a rap group um, consisting of Pusha T and Malicious. Every time that song comes on and that verse comes on and you sing word for word, bar for bar. Word for Shit. word, bar for bar. Uh, yeah, you, you just feel like a straight gangster, man. So I thought, let me see if this verse fits with the instrumental for Stay Tonight, and it did. And it sounded good to me, but it wasn't long enough. It only went for a minute, so I needed another rap verse to make the song go a little bit longer. So another song that I like, it's called Feeling So Good by Jennifer Lopez, Big Pun and Fat Joe. And I just took the verse off that, tested to see if it fit with the instrumental, and it, it kind of did, like it's not too bad. Yeah, that's how I came up with that. And I had to change all the names because in the Feeling So Good song, I think Fat Joe says Jenny. So I changed that to Chunga. And then uh, at the end of the Like I Love You verse, the original is the name malicious and I burn every track clips in Jay Timberlake now, how heavy is that? So I had to change that to Chunga, me and Chunga, whatever it is. And that part actually took me longer than expected to memorize and, you know, not stumble over the words. But eventually I got it, recorded it, and uh, with the recording process, overall recording and mixing the track took about three hours. Uh, the recording only took about 45 minutes, half hour, 45 minutes, but then mixing it took a long time because you just want, you want to get it perfect, man. When you record the vocals, that first verse, I think I recorded that at least like seven to nine times because you just want to get it perfect. If you mispronounce a word, even slightly, well, I, I go back and redo it. The clips verse, that I did that in like three takes. And then I had to chop the instrumental up. The first mix, like it all fit well, but then there was a part of the instrumental that I liked. I thought maybe I should put it into the song, but it just didn't, it just didn't fit right with the, uh, the lyrics. So I took all that out. That was a, a little bit of a waste of time. And then at the end, I wanted I thought maybe I should add, let Chunga finish the end of the song. But I just couldn't mix it right to the point where you couldn't notice the transition from the instrumental to the actual song. So I had to take that out. And look, you can remix any song, but I want to do something a little bit different, you know? Mix a K-pop song with Western rap and just to see how it would mesh. If it, like if a song is already good, there's no need to remix it, for example. If someone remixed Single Ladies by Beyonce, it would just make it worse because it's already a good song. But with Stay Tonight, there was there was no rap verse in there, so I thought, I wonder what this would sound like if I put a rap verse in there. So that's why that's another factor why I decided to do to mix the song. In this part of the song, I'm telling you, man, it's fucking iconic. When she does the thorns. So good, man. If you have a look, I'll, I'll just put it in the video so you can see what I'm talking about. Look, see, I, I like music. I like to create. And who knows where that will lead me in the future. You know, maybe maybe one day Chunga will see this and be 
and be blown away and slide into my DMs or something and ask, hey, hey Yanni, do you want to do you want to write a verse for my next song? And I'll be like, hell yeah. You know what I mean? And then before you know it, I'm gonna be in fucking Seoul, Korea, just spitting a verse for Chunga. It's getting warm, man. I'm, I'm getting warm. I'm getting passionate. I'm getting warm. And who knows, maybe she'll add me into the choreography and uh, I can't dance, man. But And then she's doing a whole dance choreography for the whole song and I'm just like, you know, in there somewhere, just just, just nodding my head, just bobbing my head or something. I don't even care, man. She don't even got to put me in the damn music video. Maybe she'll teach me how to fucking dance and teach me some choreography. And then next time you're on YouTube or TV or wherever, and you see that so a song from Chung or some K-pop idol, and you see that dancer, it's like, that dude kind of looks like that guy I went to high school with. And then all of a sudden, I start spitting my rap verse, and then it's, holy shit, that's motherfucking Yanni. <laughs> that's Yanzo. <laughs> Look, I'll, I'll probably just keep mixing, keep, keep writing, keep creating, and who knows, who knows what will happen? Maybe I'll feature on some someone's song that maybe I'll be there. Maybe I'll start instead of rap career too mainstream. Man, I'm gonna be a K-pop star. Fuck that. <laughs> also, I almost got. Um, once you record all the vocals, you record your backup vocals, which is probably the funnest part because it's all impromptu. You know, there's no. You just play the song, and uh, just say whatever comes to your mind when uh, your your vocals play like there's one part in there I'm sure you'll notice and I'm sure I'll get roasted for this but Fat Joe goes treat you like a bitch never that what that was like that was one of my favorite parts whenever that what comes in you know I just what and then um the second verse by uh, the clips the original verse that the clips did there's no backup vocals there's no or whatever you call it the backup vocals or the ad libs or whatever mm. What does he say, he says? Ma, what you wanna do? I'm in front of you. Grab a friend, see, I can have fun with two. Yeah, I played that, and all of a sudden, I just repeated the last word. So, Ma, what you wanna do, do, I'm in front of you, you. And it sounded good to me, so I just left it in there. And I'd also like to add, I didn't tell no one about this. I don't wanna be that person that's uh, always talking about what they're doing or what they're about to do, and then never get it done. You know what I mean? I just want to get it done and just be like, surprise bitch. Yeah, but like I said, um, I didn't give no sneak peeks on social media, which I know a lot of you like doing, you know, look what I'm doing, I'm mixing, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. No sneak peeks to my two, 200 something followers on Instagram, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I see, I see, I see them posting hustle in silence, but they're always the one that's not practicing what they preach and they always give in spoilers. Oh, look what, I, look what I'm doing. Look what I'm about to do. Like, nah, just get it done. So you can be like, surprise bitches. Look what I have achieved. Say things, maybe I'm rambling on a little bit, but <sighs> yeah, just sometimes it's good to just get it out. You know, I see you fake. Be arches. You know, the ones that, you know, the ones that post, be kind, like, oh shit. I forgot, I was, I was, I was ready. I plan to be rude all day today. Thank you for reminding me to be kind. I'll stop, I'll stop ranting. I'll stop ranting and rambling. And I'll, do, I gotta film somewhere else next time because this, I can't be having that, man. But yeah, so, uh, that's uh, that's that's it for this video. Hope that was insightful, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And leave a like, comment, talk some trash in the comment section. I don't mind. And subscribe, and uh, I'll I'll come up with more content. Or maybe maybe leave in the comment section what song you think I should mix next. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. I also need I need to buy a better quality desk because even just putting my arms on here
everything shakes.